let's do some problem first problem is what is the de broglie wavelength associated with an electron moving with the speed of 5.4 into 10 to power 6 meter per second here it is given that the particle is electron an electron has the charge magnitude 1.6 into 10 to power minus 19 coulomb and mass of the electron is 9.1 into 10 to power minus 31 kilogram we have to find the de broglie wavelength if this particle that is the electron is moving with the speed 5.4 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second using the formula of de broglie wavelength that is lambda equal to h by p p is the momentum and this linear momentum p is equal to mass into velocity so we can write it as h by mv and substituting the value for h this is 6.6 into 10 to the power minus 34 this is the Planck's constant divided by mass of the electron it is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram and velocity is 5.4 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second and now solving this we will have 6.6 .6 divided by 9.1 into 5.4 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 34 and if we bring this 10 to the power minus 31 from denominator to numerator it will become plus 31 and this plus 6 will become minus 6 hence we will have this value is 0 0.135 into 10 raised to the power and this power will become minus 9 and this unit is for wavelength is meter and if we write this meter in nanometer it will be 0 0.135 nanometer so this is the wavelength associated with the electron moving with the velocity 5.4 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second second part is what is the de broglie wavelength associated with an electron accelerated through a potential difference of 100 volt here de broglie wavelength lambda is equal to h by p and because the relation of kinetic energy with the momentum is k equal to p square by 2m and this kinetic energy is acquired by the electron on accelerating with the potential difference of 100 volt and this potential difference v is 100 volt therefore we can write kinetic energy is ev so ev equal to p square by 2m hence p can be written as a square root of 2mev and substituting this value in the de broglie wavelength it will be lambda equal to h by p it is equal to h by root 2mev now substituting the values h is planck's constant it is 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 divided by root 2 into mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and the potential difference is 100 volt this on solving will give 0 0.123 nanometer wavelength here it requires some calculation alternatively we can also calculate the wavelength by the direct formula and it is 12.27 by root v angstrom or also we can write it is 1.227 by root v nanometer here v is 100 volt so we can directly write it is 1.227 by root 100 nanometer and the square root of 100 is 10 they, therefore it is 1.227 by 10 nanometer or approximately it is equal to 0 0.123 nanometer so using the formula lambda equal to 1.227 by root v nanometer it simplify the calculation next question is an electron an alpha particle and a proton have same kinetic energy which of these particle 
has the shortest de Broglie wavelength. De Broglie wavelength we have already defined that it is equal to the ratio of Planck's constant and the momentum of the particle. And this momentum P in terms of its kinetic energy can be written as a square root of 2 mk using the formula k equal to p square by 2 m. This relation we know from the mechanics that kinetic energy is equal to the square of the momentum divided by twice of the mass. So if we check this wavelength will become h by p that is root 2 m k. As per question k is same for the given particle that is one of the electron another is alpha particle and third is proton. These all three particles have the same kinetic energy so this k is fixed, h is a constant and 2 is a number which is itself a constant. Hence we can say that lambda is proportional to 1 by root m. For the given scenario wavelength will be inversely proportional to the square root of the mass of the particle. If we check the mass of the particles, if mass of the proton is suppose m, then alpha particle will have the mass 4 times of the mass of proton and electron will have approximately 1837 times of the mass of proton. Hence mass of the proton, alpha particle and electron if we compare, mass for the alpha particle is the highest that means alpha particle is the heaviest particle in the given these three particles. Therefore, wavelength will be shortest for the alpha particle because it has the heavier mass in comparison to the proton and electron.